Jeff Keen here with the Chamberlain MyQ garage door opener. I'm gonna replace my Genie track drive with this new belt drive opener. Let's see how it goes. Here's the Chamberlain door opener I got, the B4613T. It has a battery backup and MyQ support. It does not have the camera. I thought that was a little overkill. Now this does have the motion activated light um, it's on the control panel. When you go into the garage, I'll turn the garage opener light on, which is nice. Here's all the items that come in the box. You got the backup battery, all the parts. Everything was there except for maybe three screws, which I couldn't find. I assembled the opener per the instructions. It was pretty straightforward, except for the carrier. It doesn't really show how the belt is routed in the carrier assembly. If you're looking at the right hand side of the opener facing away from the door, this is the spring that goes in the back. Another view of it, you can see that the pull cord is in back of the arm. Another thing that was misleading in the manual, it showed the battery going in under the back cover. The backup battery actually goes in and under the front cover. It took me a while to find it, uh, but that's where it goes. I have to wire up and align the door sensors now. One side's gonna be amber, the other side's gonna be green solid. If it's flashing or anything like that, something's wrong, uh, go back and check your wiring. When it's all working, you'll see a solid green, then you're ready for your next step. This is the really nice control panel. It has a sensor in there that turns on the garage door open light when it senses motion. It also has a learn button under here. When you see a solid amber light, it's ready to go. Okay, so once the door opener is powered up and everything's wired up, you need to learn the, the top and bottom stop positions. You push in the learn button in the, in the center. And then you use the up and down arrows to set the up and down limits. Then it's gonna go through a, a sequence. It's gonna open the door, it's gonna check it to see where it should set the four stops and then it'll be done, I'll be ready to go. Next, I added the garage door opener to the home link in the Rivian. So you have to use the learn button on the control pad if you're gonna add a home link device and just follow the instructions in your car. But it worked first time. Next, I downloaded the MyQ app and I added the garage door. Now, it took me a couple of tries. I actually had to go inside the house, move away from the opener before I could get it to be successful. And you have to have strong Wi-Fi. I'll put a link to the ECW336 that I'm using. Now, if you have a Tesla, you can add MyQ into the interface. Now, you have to pay Chamberlain a subscription, but I think it's worth it. Now, if you also add a Chamberlain home bridge, you'll be able to control the garage door from your Apple CarPlay and from your home app on your phone. The garage door will show up as you approach your home. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.